Hey gang, AV here. Welcome to my review of an assortment of 118th scale accessories that I re recently purchased on eBay. These were sold individually on eBay, but all by the same seller named by the name of Zanzaz underscore toys. Um, I'll put that in the video description, but I do believe it is spelled Z-A-N-Z-A-S underscore toys. And these are all 3D printed accessories for your 118th scale figures. As you can see, there's a, um, there's a weight bench, there's a squat um, apparatus there. You have some dumbbells. Um, you also have an anvil with a hammer and tongs. And then there are also uh, um, scientific glassware like Bunsen burners and, uh, or not a Bunsen burner, but you know, you get the idea. Like like beakers and uh, and test tubes and whatnot. Very, very cool stuff. Um, like I said, this is all... Oh, crap. I just dropped that. I'll have to get that in a second. <laughs> but uh, these are all 3D printed uh, accessories. And as such, I mean, he can make them on demand, I assume, as well as other accessories, which I did not purchase. I recently was on there, and I saw uh, uh, the blue collection mailboxes, he has fire hydrants, um, all sorts of stuff. So anyway, I wanted to review these to see how well they measure up with the actual 118 scale figures. Um, there is some assembly required. This thing, as in a matter of fact, it, it pegs in very loosely, and you are probably going to have to put some glue in there to make sure it's it's a bit more stable. Um, but for the most part, they seem pretty sturdy for being 3d printed things especially this thin you have this weight bar for example the weights do slide off and on so you can change the weights out it's pretty cool pretty cool um there you go for scale wise Let's see if i can oh well he doesn't have an open hand on that side so i'll use we use uh, Boss Fight Knight. I'm going to have to stretch his fingers out a little bit. I did not give this a shot yet. This is actually my first time actually using these accessories. I assembled it and then started the camera pretty much. So yeah, works pretty good. He holds that pretty convincingly. All right, it's pretty cool. I'll just stand him up over here. Here's a regular 118 scale figure. Snake Eyes from the original uh, G.I. Joe line. We'll try out some of these hammers. Fits in his hand, no issues. Tongs are a little thin. I don't know if I'm going to have to put both of them in there, maybe. Yeah, it's not going to hold the tongs. That's pretty cool. They are interchangeable, which is awesome. See a dumbbell. Get the dumbbell in his hand, maybe. I don't want to force it because I don't want to break the figure not crack his thumb off or break the 3d printed accessory but it looks like yeah i can get it in there so that's pretty neat come on come on there you go pretty cool uh you're probably going to need a more modern figure in order to hold the uh, scientific glassware stuff just because their fingers are a little bit more rubbery, but you can see they can hold it. So that's awesome. All right. So they definitely interact well. Let's have a look at the items themselves, get a closer look at all this stuff. So basically, dumbbell I showed off already. It'd be nice if the uh, the actual weight number was printed on these things, but it's not. They do look the part, though. They look very good. 
and they are individual weights so you can swap the uh, swap the weights out if you like there are uh, some obvious print lines on the uh, the all the items involved which you could sand off if you were uh, so inclined off to the side here now like I said this is probably the most flimsy of the uh, items a little glue a dab of glue in these two uh, bars where they connect to the uh, the side structures that's all you would need but it's got the four things right there and the thing right here for the dumbbell I'm not into Nautilus if it may <laughs> if if I'm calling anything incorrectly it's because I don't really go to the gym much. I apologize for that. I'm sure that there are specific terms for these things. I'm sorry. I know that you do squats on that. I know that's a weight bench. You know, cut me a little slack. <laughs> I've never been one to go to the gym. So I actually work as a mailman. So I get plenty of exercise as it is. Um, never had to pay for it. So let's see here. See, it just came undone just because I was moving it. So like a little dab of glue would actually uh, do a lot of good on that thing. Um, here's the weight bench, which actually snapped together very well for me. There's no glue here. Um, it's just all friction fit, and it works really nice. This bar has two different weights on it, which is very cool. Rest in there nice. Let's get a, uh, uh, again, he's only got the one open hand. So let's get a Cobra Trooper here. Get this in his hand, more or less. You could definitely make that work, gang. That definitely. I just gotta. The uh, the bars themselves have a flat spot, which actually makes the. Uh, the weights, when you put them on there, not spin, and it also kind of makes getting it into the figure's hands a bit easier. But the overall design of these things uh, is great. I mean, look at that. That's very convincing. It's off camera. Let me get them in the middle here. That's very convincing. It'd be great for your display. I actually got it. I am planning on making a uh, a second deck on my flag. And uh, I decided I was going to put a weight room in there, which is why I ordered all this stuff. Oh. Very cool, though. Very cool. Um, here are the dumbbells. I apologize that the video is all over the place. I'm messing with this stuff for the first time. As you can see, you can see that the print lines on these things, which is okay. I mean, that's to be expected with 3D printed stuff, but still very, very cool. And he's got the three different sizes here. Here's the anvil, which I got for my, my boss fight studio stuff. Figure every good uh, medieval courtyard or whatever should have a blacksmith especially with all the armor and weapons floating around in that toy line here's a hammer which is very well made I gotta say um, very very cool and the tongs which as I pointed out earlier in the in the review are very thin it's actually going to be tough to get a figure to actually properly hold these i think these would make for a better uh background piece than an actual functional one 
but still, they, they look great. And let me see if I can find that test tube I dropped earlier without tearing the whole set apart. There we go. <clears throat> It's not hollow, but it certainly looks the part. This will go good with your uh, your scientists or your magicians, even. Like if you have uh, Dr. Mindbender, for example. <clears throat> he, oh, jeez, I keep dropping it. Um, also comes with these uh, stands for you to use with your various pieces of glassware. Very cool. Let's see, two different size stands. That's the tall one, and this is a short one. Very, very tiny. Very good stuff. I'm looking forward to actually making some dioramas with these things now. Um, this is hollow, this piece is. So you take a little bit of uh, like glow-in-the-dark slime or something and just stuck it in there with a toothpick. Make it look like you have some fluid in there. Very, very cool stuff. I'm very happy to have these things. Um, these things are going to go great with my displays, really, especially my permanent ones. So anyway, this has been my review, or at least a look at, the, uh, the uh, 118 scale 3D printed accessories from Zanzaz Toys on uh, eBay. Um, as I said before, he he had all these things when I ordered them back in April. Um, some of them may not be in the store now, but they are 3D printed. You know he has those files. So if you're just patient, or even if you ask, I'm sure he could put them put them up for you again. Um, they were quite reasonable. I think, like, the weight bench might have been, like, ten bucks. Um, the, uh, the dumbbell set might have been five. You know, it, it really wasn't all that expensive either. So... If you need it for your display, and the devil is in the details when you're making these dioramas and these uh, photographs and whatnot, stuff like this is essential, and it's it's great to have. So by all means, give them a give them a shout out or or have a look, look them up. <laughs> I am struggling to get through this review. I apologize, <laughs> but anyway, check him out. He's on eBay. I'm pretty impressed with this stuff. It is 3D printed, so like the uh, the thin bar, like you do have to be kind of careful with because you don't want to break it. It's not really a forgiving type of plastic that's used for 3D printing. But as you can see, I got it to work just fine on camera. A little bit of a little bit of uh, patience, and and you can get it to work no problem. Um, so anyway, this has been AV. If you like this video, check out my channel. If you like what you see there, then please subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.